on today's episode of the Cryptoverse. A glimpse at Nodio, a device that could save the web. TunnelBear is the simple VPN app that makes it easy to browse the web privately and enjoy a more open and secure internet experience. Try TunnelBear for free by checking out the link in the video description below. Hi there guys and welcome to the latest episode of the Cryptoverse, your regular dose of news and commentary on Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and blockchains. I am your host, Chris Coney, so let's get into the article for today. Today I have chosen to turn to Bitcoin.com. Jamie Redman has done it again. He has written as an article here called A Glimpse at Nodio, the blockchain-based router, or if you're American, router. I would call it a router, but that probably sounds strange to some of you, but that's what I would call it. So here we go then. A new device called Nodio has recently been announced that can run multiple decentralized applications, a Tor node, and other functionality. Nodio is a blockchain router that aims to give users a chance to create decentralized solutions. Now, when I first read this, I thought, a blockchain router? What the hell are you talking about? I thought, well, that's just some buzzword. Someone's just jammed the word blo blockchain onto the beginning of a, of a device name for the sake of hype, right? But anyway, I'm excited by these kinds of devices, this class of device anyway, because I'd rather not have to run my desktop computer 24 seven to you know contribute to blockchain projects and run nodes and things like this. Now, what I like are things like the devices like the BitSeed, check that out, that's cool, or the 21 Bitcoin computer, that's cool. And now this Nodio thing that I can just plug in and leave it running as my personal node on, well, what you'll see later, pretty much any any chain that I like. The proviso being, I think it has to be proof of stake. So we'll get to that in a minute. So under this heading that says blockchain based router aims to decentralize the broken system, it says the device will function as a personal VPN or Tor node, giving users privacy. So VPN, that stands for virtual private network. VPNs have been around forever. And uh, I generally recommend you use one. So I imagine that all of these individual nodios will be able to connect to each other securely, right? That's the only way I can see of it acting like a, a VPN. It's like a decentralized VPN. And you probably know by now that I use TunnelBear as my VPN. You may have seen the sponsorship slot on many a Cryptoversity episode. And if you're not running a VPN, I would seriously recommend that you get one. I mean, Tunnel Bay, you can use it for free 500 megabytes a month. So the um, it's worth try it, checking out. One of the biggest benefits I gained from Tunnel Bay recently was when I went to Steamfest and I was in Amsterdam, the, the hotel Wi-Fi was unsecured. So that's bad because while, while I might be connecting to a secure website, when my computer, my actual laptop is communicating with the wireless router in the hotel, that connection from my laptop to the hotel's router is unsecured. So that data stream could be snooped on by someone in the room, right? So if I type in a password or something, broadcast that password, it's secure from the hotel's internet connection to the internet, but from the hotel's router to my laptop, that wireless connection is not secure. So with TunnelBear, everything that's broadcast from my laptop was encrypted before it was broadcast. So even though the wireless network was un unsecured, you wouldn't have been able to see what I was doing, right? Or, or snoop on my password or anything like that. So that's just a very practical reason to use something like TunnelBear. Anyway, let's see what else we got here. The yellow bit that I've highlighted here, it says, the Nodio product is not yet available. Boo. But it's having a crowd sale, which has so, so far raised 47 Bitcoin. Mm, at today's prices, that's like $35,000. Not a whole lot, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, you do get some NOD tokens, though, it says here, um, that give you a stake in the company and some voting rights. Now, when I hear those two things together, I think proof of stake algorithm. 
which actually might be great in this situation because we could randomly select from, hopefully, millions of nodes on the network, and then that node would sign transactions and build blocks, right? So let me know what you think of that idea in the comments below, but I would think that would be cool. A lot of proof of stake currencies, they only have like, I don't know, 20 or 30 nodes that actually get to sign transactions. Remember in, in BitShares version one, there was like 101 um, witnesses as they called them. And now I think there's something like 30 of them in, in the BitShares network. I've never quite understood that. Why wouldn't you just have more of them? And one obvious answer to that is that it would dilute the earnings for any individual witness. But I mean, if you're not doing it as a career, you know, <laughs> you could have one of these nodios and then you just forget about it, right? If you happen to be selected as the as the node that would sign a transaction, brilliant, you wouldn't know about it, right? Until you actually one day won the little lottery, your node got selected to sign a transaction and you got a little blog reward. But it would be so unlikely if there was millions and millions and millions of, of um, nodes in the world, it would just be a happy bonus, right? So then we move on to this quote from Nodio. It says, quote, the main idea behind the project is decentralization from the corrupted digital world, where multi-billion dollar companies and government agencies took over control. Now, let me tell you, the thing I'm most worried about right now is the DNS being handed over to the United Nations. Now, for the last couple of decades, the United States has had this stewardship over the system that connects domain names like cryptoversity.com to the actual server that the website is hosted on. So to take Cryptoversity offline is as simple as disconnecting it from the domain name, right? The website is still there. It's just that you wouldn't be able to get to it very easily. So the United States Department of Commerce, they subcontracted this job to a nonprofit organization called ICANN which is the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, I-C-A-N-N. -N. And they granted them this legal monopoly on domain name registrations. Because, I mean, in this case, centralization is a good thing. You know, we don't want more, more than one internet, and we don't want the more than one domain name system, because that would be chaos, right? We wouldn't be able to have a unified system. Now, as of the 1st of October 2016, this DNS control is being handed over to the IANA, which is the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. Now, while this organization is in the United States, the US government is no longer overseeing it, which might sound positive at first glance, but I also see this as a layer of protection that's being removed. Anyway, the point I wanted to make was that a decentralized DNS is something that is in the forefront of my mind. Because if we had a decentralized DNS, none of the, we don't have to consider any of these things like ICANN and the IANA and all that sort of stuff. So there's already projects underway in this regard, like Namecoin is an idea that I like, but this Nodio thing could be another great solution. You could even run a Namecoin node on your little Nodio device, which would be effectively like hosting your own domain names that would be ideal. So the DNS would then be distributed across all of these little Nodios. I think it's quite a good name. It sounds quite cute, doesn't it? Nodio. Um, but also it's technically accurate. You know, like node.io as in input output. But uh, from a consumer's point of view, a Nodio, it kind of doesn't sound that scary, does it? Anyway, next bit, under the heading of open source and decentralized structure, the article says that the device creators also claim it can operate smart contracts create a mesh network, and operators can even rent out the VPN for passive income. Okay, so continuing with my paranoia then, as we continue to decentralize more and more of the elements of the internet, there remains for me one giant elephant in the room. And when I'm thinking about these problems, I ask myself, okay, if I were an authoritarian government, where could I or would I strike? And to me, one glaringly obvious weak point is the internet connections themselves. You know, the actual fiber optic cable that carries the data to my computer. Now, these cables are the physical property of some telecoms company. And the idea of Google Fiber, that just scares the hell out of me because then Google owns the actual network infrastructure. And to me, that's just too much power. So 
a mesh network then is where I connect my Nodeo to my neighbor's one. And if everyone does that, then we, we the people, own the infrastructure for the internet and can relay traffic from one to the other. Of course, this is best done wirelessly because replacing the cables in the ground is impossibly expensive. So while a wireless approach is better, I know there's a major flaw with that, this mesh network idea, because at some point a cluster of houses is going to be isolated since it'll be too far away from another cluster and the wireless signal just won't reach. But, I mean, that's not an insurmountable problem. And again, the idea of a mesh network is nothing new, it's just that we haven't done it yet. Okay, next it says, developers say it will be equipped with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery that can run during power outages. Pretty cool. But see, there's another problem here. We need to decentralize the power grid. So if we each had, say, solar roofs with a wind turbine on the top, that would be great, right? Um, but you see, there's just so much work to do to make this a truly free world. This is why there's always work to do though, because one, we solve one problem and then that opens up another problem and then it opens up another one and it's all progress, right? This is the way our society evolves. So to finish off then, under the final heading that says Nodeo hopes to launch within a year, the Nodeo will provide 500 gigabytes of storage to operate multiple tasks and also be able to mine proof of stake currencies. The Nodeo creators said the estimated price for the machine will be in the $200 to $250 range. Nodeo says that it plans to launch the product in, quote, less than a year, depending on patents, shipping, and other details. Well, I don't know about you, but if they were available now at $200, I would order one today. So thanks for joining me today, guys. If you liked this episode, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Leave me a comment below with some feedback and get subscribed. And please support the Cryptoverse and boost cryptocurrency adoption by becoming a Cryptoversity patron. From as little as $10 a month, you can secure Cryptoversity's future, get unlimited access to all Cryptoversity courses, and access a private patrons-only chat group where you get direct access to me. If you prefer to pay as you go, then you can send me a Bitcoin tip to the address on that page. That's all for today, guys. I will be back on Monday with another episode of the Cryptoverse. So until then, it's me, Chris Coney, saying bye for now.